Okay, let's talk about how to set up a drip campaign using MailChimp. And a drip campaign, of course, being an automated campaign where you automatically send preset and pre designed emails to people after they join your newsletter, your mailing list, they buy a product, whatever it is. So in MailChimp, you start this by creating an automatic campaign based on a particular list. So you need to have a list created. So I have a number of lists already created. If we go over to what I have, you would see I have a number of them. There's obviously my main one with a, a large amount of subscribers and then a couple other ones for different reasons. So I'm going to create a new one for the sake of this demo. Go ahead and create list. And now uh, MailChimp does not charge you by the number of lists you have. It's by the number of total subscribers. So uh, free up until 2000 subscribers. So I'm going to make this one drip campaign list, we'll say January of 19. From, you'll want to keep this, whatever your current from name is, ad coach is what everyone expects when they see from me. So obviously whatever your email is and your default from name. You should have a reminder about how people joined the list. So I have a number of different ones kind of already set up. So you subscribe after taking a digital marketing course by Ben Silverstein, which is very true, and we'll remove and just hide my uh, actual address. Uh, and then you can have notifications if you want to. So go ahead and press save. And now we have a list. Now we don't have any emails in it, but that's fine because we just want to have a separate list for this particular drip campaign. So then to start with your drip, you go up to campaigns and you're gonna create a campaign. So, you have a lot of different options here. We're going to select email. And now here's where you start to do something a little different. You select automated. And now it gives you a bunch of different things to kind of start with. Email your tag contacts, welcome new subscribers, happy birthday. They have a lot of different ways to automate emails. For a drip campaign, we're going to start with Welcome new subscribers. Because what we want to do here is we want to start the strip campaign when new people join the list. So we can say, welcome drip campaign Jan 19, because that is the list. And now we select what list we want to attach it to. Begin. Now here's what we are faced with. We have workflow settings. So right now we have an email and we'll start here. When do we want to trigger it? Right now the default is one day after your subscribers join the list, but that might not be what we want. So we want to change it. We may want to say trigger when subscribers are imported. If you are importing this list from another set, maybe you have a CRM list somewhere or a data set. Once you upload them, they'll automatically be entered into this. And instead of wait one day, you can do hours, days, weeks. We want to do immediately. For the first one, the first campaign, the first email in your drip, you're probably going to want it to go immediately when somebody enters your list. So say update trigger. Now time to design the email. So going into this part, uh, you pretty much have the same settings that we do for any other campaign. So this first part is naming your email and we can say drip email number one. I do like to order them so that when I'm looking through it, I'm sure that I'm editing the right one email subject. We'll assume that this one is for people who signed up on my website. So welcome to ad coach learn about us preview text. You could get lazy and just copy and paste, which is what I'll do for the sake of this demo. But of course, I would recommend you get a little bit more creative when you're actually doing yours. From name and from email should automatically already be in there because we set it at the beginning. So now we say next. Now you can go through and pick one of the emails. You could start from scratch here. You could use a theme that MailChimp already has and you could select one of these and uh, automatically create from there. Or you can go to campaigns. So I have a lot of different 
emails that I've created and I have saved for different uses. So I'm actually going to select, for the sake of this demo, one that I have already used. This is an email that I created for a giveaway. I was giving away a download of a glossary that I have created. So this email, oh, this is actually a different one, but that's fine for the sake of this example. This is actually perfect. It says, welcome to Ad Coach. Use a below code to save 25% off your first class. Welcome 25. A little blurb about what I'm doing. Really pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot here which is fine because for the first email, you may not want to have a whole lot. If you offered them a code, you want to put it in here. A very common example of how to build a list is you have a pop-up saying, enter your email or sign up to get 20% off, 25% off, whatever that savings is off of your next course. And you want to make sure that if people do that, the first thing that they get and they get it immediately will be a redemption code, a coupon code, whatever they need to get what they were promised when I signed up. So we'll say save and continue here. And now because that one is already set, it's good to go. So now anytime an email joins that list, it will automatically be sent this first email. Now the drip part comes in when you can add an email. And now this triggers one day after they were sent the previous email. Similar to before, you can go and edit that as needed, but usually one day is pretty good. You could change it to hours, maybe 12 hours later or something like that. But now you wanna figure out what are you gonna do for your second email? So we'll leave it at one day after because if I'm doing multiple drips, I may wanna send them one email every day for maybe four, five, six days. Usually four to six days is a good range when somebody joins your list, you send them one a day. So I'll go ahead and design my email again. And we can say drip campaign number two. Now the subject. Well, when I do a drip campaign on the second day, I like to give away something free. So on my site, I have a lot of different blog posts and I have emails kind of canned and ready to go that link to some of my blog posts. I find that does really well because you get a lot of opens, get people engaging with it get people to think about your brand and you're not giving them a hard sell off the bat. You're kind of easing them into your brand, easing them into your products. So email subjects, maybe I have one on header bidding. So blog post, what is header bidding? Everything else is the same. Click next. Now again, I'm going to select one of my preset campaigns, but you can go in and build a campaign. It doesn't have to be the same as your first email. It could be completely different. Every email in the drip sequence can be completely unique. You don't have to use the same template or anything. I tend to use the same template because I like the idea of consistency. People open my emails, if they open multiple, they should expect or know what to expect when they open it. So I have one on header bidding ready to go. So I'll click this one and I'll say, I want this email to be sent out a day after they sign up on the list. And here it is. What is header bidding image? Click here to read full post. And then of course I include some links to other courses. I do want to use this as an opportunity to do a soft sell. If they are on this email, if they open it up, I want to be able to promote my content a little bit, but I don't really want to shove it down their throat. I'm still getting them used to my site and to my content. So I'm really focusing on the main things. What is header bin? If you click this image, see the link here. Oh, well, I can put my link in there. Um, but if you actually click down here, read the full post. And now I have a link. And say, if you click on the image, you can link that image to my site, save. And really here, again, we're just trying to get people to open it, be comfortable with the content, and ideally go to the website. If they're on the website, we can you know, engage them a little bit more. And then you can continue to go down this and add more emails. And you can change triggers if you want to. So I usually do a couple of days of free content. And then I would put in an email on the fourth or fifth day where I'm pushing a sale. And you may say something like get 20% off now, email subject save, 20% off all courses. 
and your email can have links to coupons on it. So again, I have one set up. We'll say we'll use that one. Save and continue. Now again, I wouldn't normally do this on the third day just for the example. Uh, sake of an example, we're showing the third one here. And what I would do after this is I would close it out with a similar email to the last, but I'm going to say, wait two more days. I'm going to give them a little bit more time in between. And this email is going to be a reminder email, a reminder about your 20% off sale. So it's going to be basically the same email again with just a reminder in the subject line saying, hey, don't forget you have 20% off. So this is what it takes to set it up. Very, very simple. As you can see, we set up a campaign pretty quickly here. Now let's take a look at, I'm going to exit without starting. You do obviously want to start this. Um, so let me just go back really quick and show you how to do that. Um, because you do have the option to pause emails and to uh, have some not go out. So when you are done with everything, you can click down here, delete if you need to. When you are all done, you press next. And then before you can send, please resolve the issues below. What are my issues? Uh, oh, well, I didn't um, actually do anything here. I didn't create the content. So I'm not going to be able to start this one, but I can fix that by going back. I could design the email, but it'd be quicker for me to just delete it. Because again, this is only an example. The MailChimp is good about that. They'll let you know if you have any issues so that you can fix them. And now that we fix that, we can start sending. And I have three emails in total as part of this drip sequence. All right, rock on. I've started an automation. So let me go back to my campaigns now and show you what this looks like with a drip sequence that I have already set up. So I have uh, ongoing here is how you would find your drip one. And uh, welcome message is my main one. So as you see here, you get a bunch of information based on the actual email. So how many people have been sent it? What is the open rate and the click through rate? And then the queue. So the queue is interesting. Let's see, do I have anyone in my queue? Oh, no one signed up lately. That's all right. So as you can see, I have a pretty strong open rate for the welcome email, which is not surprising. I have a really strong open rate for the second one, 31%. Normal open rates for any email campaign is well under 20%. Strong open for the third one. Again, both of these are free information. I'm not selling them anything here. But... As I get down to my sale emails, the open rates, they're still there, but they're much lower. As you can imagine, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to get somebody to open and engage with free content than with uh, something that costs money. So what you see in the queue, and, and unfortunately I have nothing in the queue right now, but if you would click on that, it would let you know what subscribers are going to be sent this next. So the queue for the first one, if you have it immediately, is pretty much always going to be zero. But once that is sent, then you'll have them in the queue for the next day. Once they've been sent this one, they'll move down, so on and so forth. So if you're interested, you can get an idea of how many people are in the queue. Did you get any signups recently? And uh, where are they in the drip sequence? So that is how you set up a drip sequence in MailChimp. Really a, a fairly straightforward tool. Really, really powerful. I would recommend taking the time to figure out what content you really want to promote and then go in and uh, create your list, create your content, create your drip sequence. Now go out and start promoting people to sign up for that list.